CERT is the Screen Industries Research and Training Center, and we're here today at Ontario Centers of Excellence to show uh, a few different uh, demos, technology demos that we've created over uh, the past couple of years. So one of the first ones we're, we're offering is um, called Virtually Human. So that's a Samsung Gear VR experience. It's a pre-rendered 360 degree video. The thing we're trying to show with Virtually Human is a difference between monoscopic and stereoscopic virtual reality. Doing the Virtual Human demo was interesting because it's not often that uh, human beings look realistic. I noticed that I got to see two different versions and what made them different was the audio. It kind of uh, directed me to where he was standing. It pulled me into the story better um, because it kind of enhanced the realism of the virtual experience. Uh, we're also showcasing the Oculus Rift. Um, that one we just have a variety of uh, pre-canned uh, demos and that's meant to show the interaction using controllers. It's a volumetric experience, so you can actually like lean in and move around, and it's far different than a pre-rendered 360 degree video. I was amazed at how much of an immersive experience it is. You really can forget where you are. I thought I was going to bump into things, I had to put my arm up to block it. I felt like I was literally on, on top of a space shuttle, so it doesn't get any more immersive than that. The third demo that we have here is using the Microsoft HoloLens. And uh, we're showing there a custom built app that we've developed with an industry partner um, called Hollow Scan. And uh, the purpose of that app is you can use a, uh, a structure sensor, which is a depth scanner, to scan in an object and then bring it directly into the HoloLens. I was a little skeptical about how they would be placing a digital object in the real world at first, but the HoloLens did it great. The chair demo that they gave me to look at was very stable, it seemed like it was a chair that was sitting on a solid floor and not just awkwardly floating around like other eye tracking technologies. So I was very impressed. 